Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Now get your roses ready because today we're making Persian love cookies. That's what's wonderful about these cookies is that it makes them gluten free. So dump 150 grams of almond flour into a bowl with 110 grams of powdered sugar. The spices for these cookies are one teaspoon of cardamom powder. Oh, have you guys smelled anything so delicious in your life? I will make cardamom syrup at work and it just puts me in a better mood. That's how wonderful it smells. And then right here we have a half a teaspoon of nutmeg. For the last of our dry ingredients, here I have some, this is dried rose petals. Now you can make these if you like, if you can't find them, you could just pick them from your garden, make sure that there's no like pesticides on the flowers. And then you just take the petals out and dry them on a very low setting in your oven until they become nice and dry like these ones here. So look at this wonderful mixture. This mixture of ingredients is just, oh, you could already smell like the lovely, how lovely these cookies are gonna be. These cookies are nice and light and airy and just so enjoyable. They're not like chocolate chip cookies. You know how you're eating them and they're just so loaded with butter and melted chocolate and then you just feel like so bad after because you couldn't stop at just one. Well, not these cookies. You could just enjoy them and sit there with your cup of tea and just enjoy them and feel good while you're eating them. Okay, so put this dry ingredient to the side and in a bowl, you're just gonna crack an egg, but you're only gonna need the egg whites. And last but not least, this right here is rose syrup. Now don't get me wrong, typically you would use rose water for these cookies, but not that I have any hate against rose water, I just don't really like it. This one is Monin Rose Coffee Syrup, and oh, it just, it smells so good, and it just tastes heavenly. You can add this to your cookies, and it's just gonna make them a little bit better than that rose water. All right, so you're gonna take this little rose water egg white mixture and mix it up until it's nice and frothy, and then we're gonna add it to all of that dry mixture. So this is pretty much the binder to the cookies. You're just gonna add it straight to your dry mixture, and we're gonna combine these together into the dough. Now, you guys, I must admit, these cookies remind me of my bosses. I used to work for three brothers. They were Persian, and they were the nicest people. Like, one thing I love about the Persian culture, they were from Iran, is that they were very, like, close with their family from day one. I worked with them for over 10 years, and they took family very seriously. That's one thing I love. As you guys may know, I'm Greek and my family is not very close. I have eight uncles and an aunt and I haven't seen them in years. So once you have this dough, if you use your hands, it's gonna form a little bit more better into a ball. Let me just wash my hands and then I will form this into the ball. These are about 100 grams of pistachios and I'm gonna slice them up and we're gonna roll this cookie dough into the pistachios just before we're about to bake them. Look at this little dough. Is this not the cutest little dough ever? We're gonna make these into little balls just so that makes a lot of little cookies. Now, if you guys wanted these pistachios to stay like a really bright, green color you would always pour a little boiling water over them before you chop them and then that skin on the outside will come out so you'll have a nice bright green color 
But for me, I was just like, I don't want to go that extra step because mm, pistachios are just, they're delicious with or without the skin. I got my little dough ball here. I'm just going to put little like, I would say these are about tablespoon amounts. And you're just going to go ahead and roll the cookie in the pistachio. Oh, this looks so cute. Look how adorable. Is this not the cutest little cookie you've ever seen? Oh, it's so bright and vibrant. And I'm going to put some parchment paper just in case they stick. And I'm going to put each little cookie on the baking sheet. Now, one last thing you wanna do before you pop these into the oven is kind of press them down because whatever shape you put them into the oven is the shape they're gonna bake at. So just lightly press the cookie down, just as so. And these are gonna bake in a preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for around, I made these kind of small. Usually it would be around 20 minutes, but these are like miniature size. So I'm gonna say that they're gonna be about 12 to 15 minutes. I'll check them after like about 10 minutes. All right, so the 10 minutes have passed and these cookies are ready. Look how beautiful they look. These smell so incredible. So last but not least for these cookies, we're gonna put a nice little pink drizzle on top just to show all the love that these cookies have. And you're gonna make this just with some powdered sugar. And you could either use, instead of water, you could use traditional like pomegranate juice just to make the glaze. But I'm gonna use water and a little bit of pink food coloring. Drizzle all of this cute little pink glaze all over your cookies. Not only do they look good, they taste good, and they even smell good. All right guys, now for the best part, we're gonna try one. Oh my goodness, have you ever seen such a beautiful cookie in your life? If you were to bring these to like a Valentine's party, people would go crazy. Even those people that hate Valentine's Day. This will brighten up their day. Mmm. <laughs> wow. These, they have a lot going on. Mmm. They're so chewy. They, these kind of remind me of um, marzipan from the almond flour. The pistachios are so delicious in here. They give it a nice crunch and the chewiness and then you have like the the cardamom i don't really taste the nutmeg to be honest man uh-oh these are very addicting love <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this recipe be sure to give this video a big thumbs up leave your comments down below if you tried it out and as usual stay tuned for my quick and easy recipes all of them always with a unique twist